Hello, and welcome to uh, my review of some previous student portfolios. These portfolios I will make available um, through Canvas, but I wanted to go through them with you to explain what I find really strong about them, and hopefully you'll emulate them. You don't have to copy them, but to get the overall idea of what makes for a strong portfolio for a community college student. I'm going to do them in order because uh, an order where I'm going to do two architecture, two interior design, and two uh, architectural visualization portfolios. Because each of them is slightly different in its orientation and the materials it's going to include. But there's a lot of overlap because we take a lot of courses in common. So uh, the first two I'm going to do with this introduction are architecture portfolios. And then I will uh, do a second video on interior design and then another one on architectural visualization. So the portfolio, that's your term project, is this document that puts together the visual confirmation of the skills that are listed on your transcript and also work beyond that. We'll see in these portfolios we've included sketches and photography or other interests that give uh, an overall uh, impression of the student. It's a little bit like a visual autobiography. Um, so let's get started. Um, so the first portfolio uh, I want to show you is an architecture uh, portfolio. Uh, this student has uh, just successfully transferred to Jefferson University in the architecture program. So, uh, Victor, and you will, but I always like it to be the last thing you do, is he came up with a rather nice cover that's based on one of the designs in his portfolio. Um, at Philadelphia University, I'm sorry, used to be Philadelphia University, Jefferson, they want you to include a table of contents. So, everything nice, clean, ordered, organized, shows this guy has his act together and is really clear. So the first uh, that we show are line drawings that were part of Art 105, which show you know meticulousness of craft, an ability to draw and render and to work in perspective. Um, so these are skills that your transfer schools are looking for. Can you draw? Do you understand perspective? He also included uh, a couple charcoal drawings that he's done both on his own and part of Art 105. Um, which I think give a nice added dimension. And I really like not only chronologically starting with these, but also starting with handwork is a very warm way of introducing people to your portfolio. You may have spectacular computer renderings, the student does, but for a lot of us, we really like, we get engaged when we see work by hand. And here it was a, a project that was not a, a studio project, but how he produces uh, portraits. Uh, including here a self-portrait. So um, working from photographs and you know really good mastery of black and white and contrast. Uh, so we continue in chronological order. Uh, this is a first semester uh, studio design, uh, a tiny house inspired by the works of I.M. Pei. Um, and here we're seeing it as a two-page spread uh, with a real focus on beautiful photographs of meticulously made model. Design Studio 2, uh, we have uh, a facade design, a, a page of all of the sketches, uh, the materials board, which I think could be a little bit bigger because it's very nicely done, and photographs of both a study model and a final, final model. But this is really good. This set of sketches uh, shows how uh, this student progressed through his design ideas. And here are the floor plans, the elevation, and an interior rendering that was done with Photoshop. Nicely organized on this simple ground plane. A brief description. It's a little long, but it's okay. Very clear graphics. We can read these um, extremely well. So, uh, he also includes, uh, from presentation techniques, 
I really want you all to include this is whether it's the coffee house or the pavilion building, your hand rendering. These look super good in a portfolio and show a craft and a mastery that translates really well into uh, digital media. And here are the final presentation reorganized from uh, presentation techniques so that it really works well in this two page spread. Uh, nice harmony of colors, you know, very elegant, um, very clearly presented. I think the photograph of the model could have been a little bigger, but that's small, a small difference. Here we get to Studio 3. We have an analysis of, uh, nicely done, of a house by Frank Lloyd Wright and looking at geometry and uh, party and how light comes into the space. From that, there was the inspiration to designing a light fixture with a nice, large, dramatic photograph over here, and then a series of process drawings and diagrams over here, including the inspiration uh, from Frank Lloyd Wright that he got this particular design from. So a good, one big, clear, dramatically lit photograph. That's what we want to look at, a nice hierarchy. We go to this image when we look at this spread. And then we are, if we're interested, we look at these other images and how they come together. And here, uh, although he added additional work, is a, a really nice, a little dense uh, portfolio page for uh, an artist loft that was part of Design Studio 3, uh, where he's really interested in the geometry of the hexagon. So it includes images of the model, meticulously made, good drawings, sketches, um, and then some computer renderings, in this case, taking a SketchUp model and rendering it with Lumion. So nice alignments. One page isn't necessarily the same as the other, but super clear as far as, um, you know, its organization. So you see how nicely everything is organized in rows and columns. And that just gives a very neat overall impression of uh, your work and that you really care, and that there's a meticulousness. It isn't thrown together. So, Victor, um, pit pull up, Raymond Chen. So, Raymond also actually uh, has transferred to uh, Jefferson, um, and he's uh, doing well there. Uh, he basically on the strengths of his portfolio. His portfolio runs a little short, but includes enough information that we get a really good sense of uh, the student. Uh, portfolio, the front page, which is what students like to design first, is the thing you go to last. If, at best, what I, I like you to do is a series of thumbnails of, of projects that you're going to see in, once you get inside. Um, a teaser of, you know, once you open it, what this is like. So his first page includes personal work, um, paintings, photography, and a lot of work in black and white, which in this case is very arresting. Uh, poor Mr. Uh, Chen lost a lot of his digital work, but was still able to pull together um, a very attractive and compelling portfolio. So personal work he does with watercolors um, and sketching. And um, I, I find, again, you want to start with this kind of work. Nice, clear drawings that understand perspective and vision that are very you know, clearly uh, presented. And because the drawings are really good, we went to an additional page. Here's a project from Presentation Techniques, uh, where he modeled and rendered a house, um, in this case using Revit, but also built a physical model here as this case study. And these are all renderings from and plans that were produced using Revit and rendering in Revit. Nice set of hand drawings here 
um, and for uh, looking at the pavilion building, which show it a nice kind of very quick direct approach to applying marker. And here, I wish he'd actually done, this is a really interesting project. I wish he'd done two pages on the uh, row house facade and gallery design. Uh, this is a little dull. This is just a really quick couple day project, but you know, it's still, it's, it's, it's good. And then here, uh, the final project from Design Studio through a residency for artists. And here, one of the things, nice harmony of colors. Um, the one thing that uh, Mr. Chen, I, I, I found his computer renderings very compelling, but a little sterile. So one of the things we he did, uh, that was my recommendation, is to bring in some entourage, some people, some cars, some feeling of context in life, because these drawings were a little bit lifeless. And uh, so here are some renderings, kind of spare, could use some people in them, but still very attractive. Uh, a quick project at the beginning, a group project in stu Studio 4, a solar filter that was done as part of a group. Um, the sketches could be a little more refined, but the photographs look good. And this, the uh, place for um, a particular, you know, design the particular spirit of an architect. Um, in this case, you could rename it um, the... Um, but this is the um, Soul Making Chamber project. Um, again, the work was done in uh, mostly in Revit and um, Photoshop. So uh, these are a, a couple of the stronger portfolios. I may add a few more. Uh, I wanted to tell you what I thought was really good about these portfolios. Clean layouts necessarily didn't stay to the same layout in every page, but um, a, you know, very, uh, we, we really see the work, we see it very clearly, we see a nice design development, we see a lot of different skills. And this is particularly for a transfer portfolio, what you want to be able to show. So with that, I'm going to uh, stop and then I'll pull up the, uh, I'll, I'll do a video of the uh, interior design portfolios, which are a little bit different.